consonance, you may have noticed, has the vowel sound ah within it, within it. We call it the inherent ah or the inherent vowel sound. The last letter of the alphabet is a high-toned ah, and the third letter in the sixth row is a low-toned ah. The high-toned ah is regarded as the universal sound, the mother of all sound, the perfection of wisdom in one sound. And that is, that is the ah that's found in all of the 30 consonants. It's also present in the vowels. Tibetan doesn't have a separate letter to indicate the vowels like we do in English with A, E, I, O, U. It rather assumes the inherent ah vowel, so that's the vowel unless otherwise indicated. Then it uses a series of marks to indicate the other vowels. So here we have the letter ah written five times. This is, so we see that ah is the last of the 30 consonants here. And then when we speak of the five vowels, ah is also the first of the vowels. Ah is the base sound that's used to indicate the, the other vowel signs, the other vowel sounds rather, which are marked with these different signs. So each of the signs has a mark, and each of these signs indicates a new vowel sound. Each of the four vowel signs can be put on any one of the 30 consonants. So now, in the level one book, we're on page five. <clears throat> the first vowel sign is called a gigu, and it gives the, the vowel sound e. E, as in me or we, C. The second of the vowel sounds, and I should say about the first of the vowel sounds, it's the gigu is made by making a counterclockwise hook first, lifting the pen, and then going back and making a stroke that goes from thick to thin, top right to bottom left. The gigu then gives us the E sound. The next vowel sign is called a shab q. It's made in one motion from the top here around the hook and back to the top left. This vowel sound is called a shab q. That's the name of the vowel sign. The sound that it makes is oo. The long oo as in moon. So, for instance, if we took the the fourth letter in the fourth row, the ma, and put a shab cue on it, we would change the sound from ma to mu. The dringbu, the next vowel sign, gives the vowel sound a. So, for instance, if we took the, the same vowel sign here, ma, the same consonant, ma, and put a drengbu on it, we would then have ma, drengbu, may. The last of the vowels is um, the o sound. This vowel sign is called the naro. Putting a naro on one of the, any one of the 30 consonants will change its vowel sound, sound, sound from a ah to o. Oh. So this would be ma, naro, mo. To use the same example with the, the gigu, the first of the vowel signs. Here we have the consonant ma again. We put a gigu on it, and then we have ma, gigu, mi. So these are the five vowels, the inherent a ah, with each of the four vowel signs. So here we have a, ah, e, u, a.